All right. I don't know how to make what I'm making right now, which is the holder uppers for these things. These big things flap out, and then I need sticks to hold them in place. Now I got <coughs> pipes that fit into each, into each other. Well, this one fits into that one. Pretty snug, but like loose enough to easily move. So I've got telescoping pipes. How do I attach them at the bottom and at the top and have them disconnectable? I don't know. All I know so far is if I have two pieces of pipe that are each one meter long, that should give me a decent range of things. So I'm just going to start by cutting these into two one meter long pieces and see if I can make one of these things. I don't know. One meter. One meter. Wow, look, I'm making progress. No idea where I'm going yet. Making some kind of progress. Alright, this seems like a pretty straightforward thing. Just some sticks to hold up some panels. Of course, things always get more complicated once you start putting in reality and there's all these factors like you gotta put them in places where they're not gonna be in the way, people tripping on them and kicking them, and it doesn't get in the way of loading and unloading stuff from the boat. And, and these have to be able to close both of them. Alright, what do we got? That telescopes quite nicely. Ooh. This is a one inch schedule 40 and this is a one and a quarter inch schedule 40. They fit very nicely. I'm kind of thinking these can be permanently attached to the bottom, but uh, pivotable. So that when these come down, they can somehow attach to this. I can put my pin in to set it to the right height, up there or down there. And then when those close, detach it whatever way and then this can attach to here and stay pivoted there and then it's basically out of the way. I just have to position them in places where they will really be out of the way. And then I'll just have to make some little easy to connect to disconnect thing here. So I don't want these just flopping around. Alright, so I just need a pivot at the bottom. Alright, that's pretty simple. Oh, I've got a little sheet of stainless steel here. I think I can do something with that. Okay, take this, wrap it around, and fold out some tabs. So I just need two cuts there, and I drew a line at an angle because this is not going on something flat. Okay, there's my two cuts. Now this is going to go that way because the slope is there. So those will fold in, and those will fold away. All right, so fold those away before I do anything else. What happens up here? Hey, get out of here, tree. I need this to come down. Um, 
Well, I think I can get away with this on the top panels. The bottom ones, I'm going to have to do something lower profile. Yeah, it's on there pretty good. I think I can just leave that up there. I can make this a little shorter too, so it doesn't stick out much. I'll have to paint it since it'll be in the sun. Alright, put my pin in, wherever it needs to stay. And I think that top pipe can just stay up there. And the bottom one, I don't know, I can hook into this maybe. Put it up there, get that over shorter. I guess that could just sit right there. It's pretty stable. Oh, that is not bad. Oh, nice shade. I can definitely pedal like this. Yeah, just enough headroom. I haven't put the pins in to hold this at different positions yet. I need to figure out what to, what pins to put in first, though. I'm going to hold it horizontal and up and then down here. I'll probably just have three positions, I think. I don't know. I mean, I can make it as many positions as I want. It's just drilling more holes. So I've got this side all done. Now I need to do the other side. The other side is trickier. On this side, I could leave these attached. Because all this is on top, it doesn't matter. But the flap that's under this, whatever I do there, needs to be low profile enough to fit under this one. So there's not a lot of space. So I'll probably have to have these things stay with these and somehow click into the, uh, I don't know. I gotta think about it. Hmm. This side's great though. Super easy to put in and out. Yeah. Yeah, those are totally out of the way. I like it. This back panel is supported in a little bit from the end. That seems to work really well. Uh, there, there isn't much bowing in here. At the front, I just put it right at the front because that was the most convenient place to put it down here. You know, if I put it over here somewhere, it'd kind of be in the way of walking through. And then the front panel is supported all the way at the front and then all the way at the back so that the cargo loading area can be totally open. So it's not the best. However, I'm thinking on the far edge of this, I might put a flap that kind of goes down or it could even go up. I don't know, something to just make that more rigid. Um, when it's open all the way, it doesn't sag much, but it does does bow a little bit. Or you know, maybe I'll just shut up and leave it the way it is and see if it's a problem. Otherwise I'll be fixing things that are not problems for no reason. So over to the other side of the boat. These go up, so whatever I do to that panel there needs to fit under here. There's not a ton of space. These definitely won't fit, obviously. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna go consult my brains and see if I have any ideas in there. Hmm.